Mm. Thank you. <laughs> we came quickly here to get some um, breakfast and we ordered a takeout because my brother's at home, my dad's at home, so we're just gonna eat at home. All right guys, I'm excited to try this. I've been seeing all over my TikTok for you page. And I don't, not a, the biggest fan of pistachio. I could eat it, but I'm down to try anything, so. It's good. It's really sweet. It's definitely a sweet drink. I saw that the TikTok said to add four pumps of pistachio sauce. I added two pumps into the venti, and that is sweet enough. Like, I might have even done one next time, but it's good. I recommend it tastes like a Mexican candy. I don't know if you guys know the little square that has chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry in it. It's good. I see people do like get ready with me, get ready with me on TikTok a lot. I remember when um, I used to do a lot of these in my YouTube channel, like. Three years ago when I was like still like into makeup like you know eyeshadow looks and everything but I feel like I've stopped really doing that just because um kind of stopped doing like heavy makeup not like heavy makeup but like you know I stopped doing fun looks fun eyeshadow looks and now I just stick to like basic makeup my guys I'm getting ready to basically have dinner here at home we might go out we might go um do a little bit of shopping and and go try this new like boba place that i found apparently they sell like boba with ice cream which is cool <laughs> so we might go there it's like a 13 minute drive 14 minute drive so it's a little bit far but it's not too far it's not crazy far but we'll see if we have time for that I did my eyebrows for the first time in two months. It's been crazy long since I last did it. It's all worth it because I let my brows grow out and get full. But then the bad side is that like in that time, in that one month where I don't do my eyebrows, they just look hairy. We went to Whole Foods yesterday and we got the berry chantilly cake that has been like kind of trending on TikTok. I've seen a lot of people and say that it's good so hopefully that tastes good i was gonna go for like a strawberry shortcake or just like simply make my own cake but i was like mm, we should just try this i feel like i would get too stressed out if i did my own cake because i wanted to make it like aesthetic looking like you know those little heart cakes but i feel like i'm not capable of that i would probably like get stressed out and upset halfway through making the cake. My brother and my parents got me gifts, so I really appreciate them for that. I will show you guys what I got from them. And then my friend got me a gift card, which is also really nice of her. I've heard that a dry um, beauty blender is better to work with than a wet beauty blender which is kind of shocking because I've literally done my makeup with a wet beauty blender all my life because that's what like people said was good at first I've been dying to try rare beauty products but I can never find them in stores for some reason 
I guess the hype over them just have them sold out all the time because I can never find them. I'm a fan of um, cream based products because I feel like they just make your makeup look more natural. I mean, it also depends on what type of look you're going for, of course. It's crazy how different life can be in the span of one year. I remember last year, I was, what was I doing last year? I was finishing up my EMT program because I did do an EMT program at school. Um, and that was stressful. I was also getting back into doing nails because um, I did nails my junior year, all of my junior year. And then I ended up taking a break when senior year started just because everything was just it was just too much to handle and I did end up taking a long break, six months to be exact. That's like half a year. And then I resumed again. Um I believe it was February of my of, of last year, so exactly a year ago. So it's kinda of crazy how like my nail business has grown in that one year and how I've been able to do nails as like my full-time job and kind of like take a different path, a different route than the path that I was planning on taking. Guys, I remember my 17th birthday was a little harsh because that was my first pandemic um, birthday. I had... I had my 16th birthday before the pandemic even hit, so was I, so my 17th birthday happened when COVID was kind of dying down, but it was still there, you know. So I was just home that day. I literally did not do nothing. I just had cake. And actually, as a matter of fact, I was stressing with college applications and like programs in my school a vacation for programs in my school I was like so stressed oh my god hopefully I can finish my makeup before the sun sets because I'm gonna take pictures Strawberry citrus, babe. And we got what's this one called? Ube. The ube. Ube, what is it? Like ube soft serve? Yes. We ube. got ube soft serve with tapioca. With the bubble, yeah. With it tastes kind of like chocolate, though. Yeah. I'm gonna try this one. Oh, I think it actually has like bits of strawberry in it. But this one's good. It's like kind of melting already, though. That's why you have to drink it fast. Um, oh, this tastes like sparkling water. Oh, that's good. Like sparkling water. 
I've never had this place, so I'm definitely gonna go. Right? It's cute. And they were really nice. The employees were really nice. Right? Okay. Let's go. I'm just gonna show you guys a little birthday haul, what I got for my birthday real quick. My brother gave me this book by Shanae McCurdy. I've been wanting to read this book so bad and I'm excited to read it. And I also got The Secret History by Don Matar. I've heard this book is good, so I'm excited to read these both. I got the Chamberlain Matcha from my brother. I've been dying to try this as well. And I'm excited to make matcha lattes with this because the matcha that I have right now is old and I'm running low on it, so. I got this cute heart mirror. This one right here from my mom. It's a cute addition to my mom. I also got this cute like pillowcase for my um, pillows. I have to buy the pillows that are the size for this. And they so. got Masha. But uh, yeah, it's cute like flowers. It's cute like like Masha. Hello Kitty. I also got this cute Hello Kitty. Isn't she so cute? I also got these cute claw clips. Claw clips. They're the cutest colors. My this Burn after writing book. It has like little prompts like The song for the main theme of the movie or of your life Little prompts that you could write. I also got this this also a little um, Collection this blush is so pretty And last but not least I got this cute vibe good vibes. It's so adorable. I love the colors Scheme going on and some chocolate. All right, guys, so I got another gift today. I got this really cute, like, beige jacket. She got it from her uncle. Her uncle. From my uncle, yes. It's cute. I love it. Ink. Shout out to me. I recorded her um last her, clip. Her birthday. Last clip. She recorded my last clip, so shout out to her. I do really good vlogging. Alright. Bye. Bye.